So, do you know about it, then? That Tony character. Is that right? What are everyone saying? Is that what the police were there last night? Well, you should know. He's working down that club of yours. You're supposed to run loads of checks these days, aren't you? Did I find out it was a paedophile and decide to turn a blind eye? Is that really what you're asking me? I thought it might be part of this Christian charity you lot are always banging on about. I don't bang on about anything. Giving second chances to nonces. No. I had no idea. <laughs> well, you must be a really good judge of character, then. Because you've been working with a total pervert for months and you haven't even given him a second glance, have you? And my son's been coming down that club of yours. Which means he's been mixing day in and day out with a total sicker. And you've never been taken in by anyone. Thought they were one thing, then turned out to be something completely different. I want to tell different. you something. I would have sussed a total creep like that. So, what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm supposed to close down the pedo club. You're not serious. It's all right for you, isn't it, Denise? Your kids are way past the age you're going to be in any sort of danger. Mine isn't. Well, you let him mix with a bloke like that. Oh, what, so this is the men of the square taking yeah, action? Yeah, well, some men. Yeah, some men. They just stand by, don't they? Look how weird that is. You all knew he'd been in prison. No, it's because he had something going with his stepdaughter. No you? one knew that. Well, some of us should have, shouldn't yeah, we? some of us spent more time with him than the rest of us. All right, well, you talked to him in the Vic. You served him in the calf and none of us sussed him. How could you? Eh? How could any of us? Well, let's not give another sicko the chance. Yeah, let's just get this place closed yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. What, so you're going to let every other kid suffer because of one mistake? You know what to say about one bad apple. OK, right, so you've got some dodgy barmaid working in the Vic. You want to shut that down, do you? You've got some psycho and a night shift in the calf. You want to close that down and all? Some um, weird teacher in Abbey's school. You want to shut down the old school, do you? No! No, you get rid of the problem and then you make sure that life goes on. Excuse me. I saw your daughter kicking Trina's tree earlier. Could you please ask her not to? She's eight, and it's a tree. Listen, I won't have my son upset because you can't control your daughter. Do you understand me? Tell that kid of yours that having a tree for his crackhead mum ain't an excuse for locking my daughter in a shed. I'm sorry? And if I catch your sick boy near my daughter again, it'll be you that I come looking for. Listen, my friend, you're mistaken. My boy wouldn't do that. I think you better leave. Um, all right, come on, Dad. Uh, did I invite you into my house? If you want, we can do this on the doorstep. Make another public show. And what's he doing here? He's got something to say. Well, if you can't apologise to Louise, it's too late. She's already gone to school. He hasn't got anything to apologise for. Go on, tell him. I didn't lock Louise in the summer house. <laughs> You're a liar. He hasn't finished yet. Go on. Dad, do I have to? Yes. It really weren't me. OK. Well, if it weren't you, how comes Louise is saying it was? Who was it, Jordan? I don't know. Well, not for certain. I've had enough of this. Get out of my house before I chuck you Tell out. Come on. Dad. Tell him. I think it was Ben. Don't be late. Go on. Well, that kid of yours is just trying to lie his way out of trouble. He's been raised to be truthful. If you think yourself lucky that I ain't going to the old bill, now I suggest you follow him out the front door before I get angry. You said you please. Now get out! Mr. Mitchell, I want to help you. <laughs> you want to what? I don't believe you know your son very well. Are you for real? Now listen, mate. Them sad old ladies in your so-called church might hang on your every word, but not me. So I suggest you listen to me. You turn around, you walk out of it. Why do you still got two legs but to don't walk? Don't you on? think it's convenient? You ain't listening to ben me. Ben finding his you sister still like that. I'm listening assuming to you me. don't know oh, about yeah. the alcohol he brought into the community centre. What alcohol? Ben brought in a bottle of whiskey. Gave it to Jordan. Let him take the rap. So let me get this straight. You caught your son with a bottle of booze. That Ben gave to him. <sighs> That's what he told you? Yes. And you believed him? Absolutely. But, uh, is that a brain in your head, or do you make do with two short plates? You see, I couldn't understand how Jordan got hold of a bottle of whiskey. I mean, there's only rum in our house. I know shop's going to sell it to him. And then he told me. Ben stole it from the Vic. Yeah, well, we already know your son's a liar, don't we? My son is not a liar. Now, you listen to me, Holy Joe, and you listen good, yeah? Ben didn't steal no whiskey, Ben didn't lock Louise in no shed, and your son 
is a liar. Jordan is not a liar. You ain't listening to me. I ain't gonna tell you again. I know that stuff. You clearly don't have my house. Mr. Mitchell, please take your hands off me. Get out. Hear the word of the Lord. A false witness never goes unpunished. Where's Lucas? He's, um... What's he doing here? Well, which answer do you want first? I've, uh, I've had a little chat with Ben. Yes, yeah, so what? Do you hear me? A little chat with Dad. Ben. Dad! So what you got to say to yourself, Reverend? Hey? You first. Okay, Mr. Mitchell. Now we've got the place to ourselves. I'm going to give you one minute to explain yourself. 60 seconds. Then what? Hmm? Well, you think I'm scared of you? I think you should be. Why? What are you going to do? You're going to say a little prayer, plead for some help? Because you're going to need some. I don't like threats, Mr. Mitchell. Yeah, and I don't like your boy bullying my boy. He isn't. Well, I say he is. 30 seconds. Why wait? <clears throat> OK. What is this? I'm dealing with it. Oh, you call this dealing with it, do Just you? Just sling your rock and go, will you? What? You heard me. No, I'm not having this. Not in my home. You've got issues. You come round, you explain them, and then we talk about it, all right? I think we're beyond talking. You know what? You're just lucky that Chelsea called me when yeah, she... He's the lucky one. <laughs> you reckon? Enough! All right, let's just... Cool things down, and let's see if we can come up with something, all right? Just take your kids and go. Oh, I'll finish this, all right? OK, this is what you want, is it? You want a fight in our home? It's the last thing I want, but this is my house, and it's trespassing. I've got a right to defend myself. OK, you know what? I'm going to call the police. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to have you both arrested. You like that, Phil? Hey, Louise is going to love hearing all about that, isn't she? By the way, you lose. You know what? For a man of God, you've got a lot about you he wouldn't like. Yeah. A lot anyone wouldn't like. You keep talking, my friend. All right, Phil. None of us want this. OK? Not you, not us. So let's at least do this for the kids. Yeah? Let's at least do that. Me and you ain't finished. Don't worry, my friend. We will. That promise. Mr. Mitchell, you really don't know what you're dealing with. Don't let me stop you. If you want to sit in silent prayer, I can finish this later. Oh, I've already said my prayers today. Really? Yeah. I mentioned you, as it happens. Well, me and my family don't need your prayers. That's a shame. Because I'd hate anything to happen to you or yours. It's your family that needs the Lord's guidance, my friend. Your boy messed up. Or is it like father, like son? No, no, Ben's nothing like me. For him, violence is a last resort for me. Well, it's just the beginning. Was it the Lord says, an eye for an eye? He also said, I will sharpen my glittering sword and take justice into my own hands. Then I'll take revenge on mine enemies. Yeah, but if I come up here... You'll need a sword. I'm burn for burn, wound for wound. <laughs>